This is being filmed on Ash Wednesday, the beginning of Lent in 2022. In 1997, uh, we traveled to Sweden and Norway to see family. Now, I'd never seen any family of mine in Norway, so we took a chance and drove across the border, and I went to the town where I knew that my ancestors were, were born and buried, and one thing led to another, and I met a gentleman, and he, I said, do you know any of these folks? He said, sure, they live right up on the hill. Well, that was pretty lucky. So we went up the hill and got to see where my family lived before they came to the U.S. in the 1850s, and there were still relatives living in the house. It was a beautiful view across the fjord and over to the other side of town where the family church stood, where they were all baptized and presumably buried, and it was just a kind of magical moment, and I won't forget it. Along the way at the house, the oldest member of the family, she, uh, before we left, gave us a gift, and it's this. So, this little piece is a candle holder. It might not look like it, but it's got a hole in the top and little feet. It's not fancy. It's dented up a little bit. And the patina reminds us that it's old. But you know what? Dented, old, I don't care. It's a treasure to me. If our house was on fire, and I hope it never is, but if it was, this would be one of the things that I grab before we get outside. In the lesson for Ash Wednesday, the gospel lesson, it says, where your treasure is, there is your heart. And this is certainly a treasure of mine. Again, not very small, not, or not very large, not very fancy, but a treasure nonetheless because of where it came from and who it came from. You know, when I do funerals, I hear families talk a lot about, well, now we have to clean out mom's house or clean out dad's house because over the years, mom or dad had collected all sorts of treasures, all sorts of things that were meaningful to them. But it also makes me think that we probably have more treasures than we need. We probably have more things than we know what to do with. Our houses, including mine, <laughs> have a lot of boxes in the basement, have a lot of stuff sitting around, all because we either think, well, I'll use that someday, or I don't want to throw that away, or that has meaning, whatever it might be. But again, where our treasure is, there is our heart. Lent calls us to really examine what our treasures are and where they are and how attached our heart is to them. Lent is that 40-day time as we look forward to Easter when Jesus gave all of his treasure, including his heart, for us. So I'd like you to consider during this time of Lent what is really a treasure in your life and what maybe isn't. Keep those things that are treasures, right? Family memories, things that connect you to other people that you love and care about. And maybe some of the rest of it, let go, could become somebody else's treasure. Clear out those things which get in the way of our heart for Jesus. Clear out those things which clutter our hearts and our minds 
so that we forget what a treasure we have, not just in Jesus, but with each other. You've got 40 days, 40 days to look for those treasures, to let some go, to keep some, and to really think, where is my heart? Thank you. the world holds dear.